Hey guys, so today I'm going to make for you uh, low carb gummy bears that won't cause you to have to run to the bathroom. If you know what I'm talking about, I know if you've gotten a hold of the sugar free gummy bears that are sold in the stores, you know exactly what I mean. So first things first, <clears throat> You're going to get a box of Jello. You can use the sugar-free, you know, whatever. This time I'm using Royal Brand Frozen because this is for my kids. And if I remember right, the it says five carbs for a serving and it's got, oh, focus, focus, sucralose in it. So I think that's what they're counting because I looked at everything else and there's not really any, you know, like sugar type words so I think that's what they're counting because it's a powder form. And then I am using two packets of Knox gelatin and I'm just putting it right now in a measuring cup. And what I'm gonna do is I'll stir it together to kind of get the, the two blended. And then I've got just a half a cup of water. So let me move over completely to the stove and I'll show you, you know, kind of what I'm doing. Okay, so you're gonna get your pot of water or pot and just throw your half a cup of water in there turn it on I like to kick it on high because I'm not waiting that long I just want it to boil that's it so um, while I'm doing that I'm going to mix my jello stuff with my gelatin and then I'm also going to um, prep my molds which let me show you I got these cute little gummy bear molds they're not very big as you can tell they're not much bigger than the pot but um i got three of them plus a applicator um well syringy bobber thing for like nine bucks on amazon and it came with three uh, molds and the applicator so i was pretty pleased anyway you're gonna let this boil and then i'll show you what next Okay, now you can get that out of the way. I've got my jello. Let me see if I can get that centered. You can hear the pan is still kind of hot, so I'm trying to let it cool just a second. It doesn't need to boil for very long because all you're doing is dissolving the jello. Okay, and not the color I thought it would be. That's really interesting. Um, the flavor is summer berry punch. So I kind of thought it'd be like, I don't know, blue or red <laughs> or something. It smells really good, but between, uh, the color of the jello itself and then the color of, um, you know, the gelatin, there's just not much color going on at all. So yeah. And, um, Royal, let me reach across cause need my other hand like this one's the frozen and i used another one that i had like you know if you're familiar with it it had elsa on it and then there was another one that i have that has anna on it and um they're just kind of different flavors but i also had two star wars flavors and the one that i used um you'll see it when in the finished product because i've already made two batches and um it was red, it's fruit crunch, and it had Kylo Ren on the box, which is kind of awesome, you know. And then um, the other flavor I used was just a regular basic, um, you know, blue, I think it was blueberry or mixed berry or something like that. So you can use anything. And I'll do another video to show you how to make it from like tea. You know, instead, if you really just don't want to use any of the processed gelatin stuff, or, you know, like Jello, Jello, like Jello stuff, um, I can show you how to do that. And uh, I'll do that in another video. So if you want me to make one out of like a fresh brewed tea, like the video, thumbs up, let me know what you want to see, you know, in the comment section below, tell me what you want, or tell me if you've tried this or if you like it, you know, because I'm always interested in finding out. So anyway, now that this is all pretty much mixed together, there's going to be a few lumps, but they'll settle to the bottom and I'll show you how to avoid those. Anyway, so I'm going to move over to my gummy station and I'll show you from there. Okay, so here are my gummy bear molds. You can tell I've used them already. I don't, you know, I'm not worried about that because it's just jello. Um, so anyway, I've got this little handy applicator and you're just going to go, oh, I guess it would help if you could see. 
So you're going to go kind of in the middle, you know, of the road and you just suck it up, move that out of the way. And it doesn't really matter where you start. You just kind of be very, 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 very careful. Make sure that you're, you know, um, not going to overflow it or anything like that. You know, it's a really, really, really gentle touch. Um, and you'll find, like, this is, like I said, my third batch. So I'm kind of picking up tricks as I go. Um, one of the things that I noticed uh, in the beginning, I did it, I followed directions from some website. And it said to mix all of the gelatin and water and stuff together and then boil it. And it made it so foamy that, you know, and she was all like, oh, yeah, you can just, like, do, cut it off and whatever at the end. And I'm all like, well, no, because that ruins your gummy. Um, so I found that if I do it this way, you don't get the foam as much. Um, and then I also found, like, I'll show you here in a second. Uh, there's bubbles that will come up, like, especially when you get to the end of your dropper. And, um, of course, now I'm, like, getting pretty proficient at it, so it's harder to to do but um you can sit there and like have ah, i can't even make them now have bubbles and um let's see if i can suck some up uh from the top um ah i can't do it anyway what you can do is use your dropper to um just kind of clean them up like let me see like there's a tiny little bubble right there so you just press out all of the air and then just gently suck it up in there. Boom, bubbles gone. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I, uh, like I said, I've gotten better at it. Ah! And then see if you overspill like this one, you can do the same thing. Suck it up. Boom. It'll have a little bit of a edge around it, but you can pluck that off later and it doesn't really affect anything. So I'm going to get these filled. And, um, it's going to take forever because there's a hundred and, well, I think the first batch I got 120, the second batch I got 135. So we'll just kind of see where this gets us. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay. So I did finally end up with a bubble here and you can pop it with your finger too, which see, it's already starting to gummy up. And I got one over here, which you I don't know if you can see or not, but I just popped them with my fingers, wipe them off. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've got them on a cookie sheet and what I'm going to, or a cookie rack. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them in the oven, but these are silicone molds. So they, you know, like flop around and stuff. So I found that's the best way to transport them and keep them, you know, straight. So anyway, I'm going to throw these in the freezer for, I kid you not, like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even less. And then I'll pop them out. And I ended up with 121 gummy bears on this one. So yeah, it just kind of varies, I think, depending on, you know, like how many bubbles you have and how many uh, you kind of accidentally overflow and <laughs> stuff like that. So all right, I'm going to get these in the freezer and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so this is my other two batches, you know, um, that is the blueberry one that I did. And then this is the fruit punch one that I did with Kylo Ren on it. <clears throat> and they're both pretty good. So here are the molds that we did. Like here's that one with a little drop on it and you just pop them right out. That's it. And then what I do is, um, I'll just throw them in here. All you know hodgepodge and stuff and then um, when I get done uh, you know I'll just do this real quick and then I'll show you what I do okay so now I've got them all in here um, I'm gonna give them just a quick shot of some spray you know um, pan coating you know, whatever you want to use. I put the lid on it. I shake it. Flip it upside down. Shake it. I'm trying to get them all mixed up with their little brothers and sisters. You know. And voila. You have gummy bears. You can use any flavor, like I said. Um, you know, you really don't even have to do the spritz. But I just kind of do because, I don't know. It just seems like something to do. 
And there you have it, you guys. You've got gummy bears. Um, I will say this. You don't have to use a gummy bear mold. I'm not saying you do. I just happen to buy one because I'm an impulsive shopper on Amazon. And, you know, that's kind of what happens when you're up late at night when you shouldn't be. So, yeah, I got them. But you don't have to. You can use any kind of mold doesn't necessarily have to be silicone. If you have it, great. If not, whatever. Make them a little bit thinner because they do get tougher and tougher to chew as you go along. Um, but I will show you, like, they have, um, like, a really good texture. I just chewed into that one. Let's see, where's the camera at? Exactly, there we go. And they're firm. They're good. Um, if you do happen to buy the molds, you know, they stack together so they're easy to uh, store. You know, pretty great. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you try them. I hope you like them. Please tell me how it turns out if you do make them. I would love to know. Um, so leave your comments below, like the video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!